freezing rain, heavy snow, icy roads, Frederick has been through its fair share of winter weather. The City of Frederick's snow removal team is made up of employees from the City's Department of Public Works, better known as DPW. The City Snow Removal Team is responsible for clearing snow and ice from city streets from curb to curb and shoulder to shoulder to provide a safe driving service for all users. Teamwork is crucial during times of inclement weather and everyone plays a part. We hope this video will answer some of your questions. Provide insight on the city's policies and procedures. And offer useful tips for things to know during snow and ice removal. Every snow event is different and viewed as such. Determining when to implement the snow emergency plan is dependent upon numerous factors. Weather forecasts and current conditions are evaluated by the street maintenance superintendent and discussed with the City of Frederick's Police Department. Once a recommendation is made, the mayor will call for an implementation of the snow emergency plan. Notifying residents, business owners, and employees then becomes the next step of the snow emergency plan. The city's public information officer, PIO, will send out notifications via local media outlets. The city's snow emergency plan will then be announced. On the radio, you can hear it on Key 103.1, WFRE 99.9, 106.9 The Eagle, and WFMD 9.30 AM. On TV, WHAG and Channel 99, and via the internet at www.cityoffrederick.com. You can also receive alerts through the city's social media pages on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash city of Frederick and on Twitter at Fred City Government. For more direct alerts, register your cell phone for the text message alerts by signing up at www frederickcountymd.gov backslash alerts. We want to also remind residents of our city emergency information line that may be called at any time for the latest city announcements. That number is 301-600-1300. The announcement of the snow emergency plan will include the start time of the emergency plan. Snow emergency routes are the first priority during a snow event. It is of the utmost importance to clear these designated areas for emergency vehicles as these routes are the major traffic arteries. When a snow emergency is in effect, all vehicles must be cleared from the snow emergency routes, allowing city plows as much curb-to-curb -curb access as possible. It is important not to park on a snow emergency route during a city declared snow emergency. There are numerous roads designated as snow emergency routes. A complete list can be found on our City of Frederick website. Search snow emergency routes. Snow emergency routes are found not only in the heart of downtown Frederick, but throughout the city as well. Citizens will be provided a minimum of two hours prior notice regarding when the snow emergency plan will go into effect. Citizens must remove their vehicles from snow emergency routes within city limits by the designated onset of the snow emergency plan. If vehicles are not moved, owners are subject to parking citations and possible towing. Signage identifying a snow emergency route may be located at various spots along the route. However, it is important to note that the snow emergency route signs are not posted at every parking spot in a designated snow emergency route. Please be sure to help spread the word to visitors, family members, and friends unfamiliar with the area so that all vehicles are moved during a snow emergency. Store owners, you can help too. Be sure customers are aware when a snow emergency plan is in effect to ensure they are not parked along a snow emergency route. When a snow emergency plan is in effect, Parking garages and parking meters are not free. The city is not required to offer free parking during a snow emergency. Parking garages will operate as usual 
and normal procedures and rates will apply. If the situation is severe enough that the mayor decides to waive parking garage fees, the information will be announced in the same way as the snow emergency plan is announced. For those who live downtown and need to move their vehicles from a snow emergency route, the City of Frederick has five parking garages located throughout downtown. Again, parking garages are not free when a city snow emergency plan is in effect, but the garages are open and available for public parking. The City of Frederick Snow Emergency Plan is a standalone plan and does not necessarily correlate with a state snow emergency plan. A snow emergency plan in the City of Frederick can take effect before and even after a state emergency plan is announced. The City's snow emergency plan may also end after the state's snow emergency plan is lifted. City Code Section 22-16 states requirements for removal of snow and ice from sidewalks. All sidewalks should be cleared 12 hours after city plows finish plowing the roads, unless otherwise announced by the mayor during extreme situations. Accumulation of snow and ice on public sidewalks creates an emergency and it is the responsibility of the person owning or occupying a lot or part of a lot abutting a city sidewalk to clear such sidewalk. City sidewalks in front and back of the property should be cleared by the owner or occupant. Sidewalks are required to be cleared a minimum of four feet in width or the width of the sidewalk if the sidewalk is less than four feet wide. Violation to City Code Section 22-16 will result in a notice of violation by a City Code official. Failure to comply within 24 hours may lead to a citation of up to $100. Cost of removal of snow and ice from the sidewalk property may also be charged. Charges and violations also apply to contractors responsible for property maintenance. For questions concerning code enforcement, please contact the Code Enforcement Office at 301-600-3825. City Code Section 22-16.1 addresses snow removal by residents and property owners. Snow or ice may not be deposited onto public streets or sidewalks. Violations may result in a fine of up to $500. Residents and property owners are held liable for any hazards snow or ice may cause due to depositing on roadways and areas of pedestrian traffic. If damages occur because of such violation, then costs to repairing any damage to city property may also be issued upon the resident or property owner. So, when you shovel or operate your snow blower, always remember to dump the snow into your own yard and not back out on the city streets. The Snow and Ice Removal Team for the City of Frederick is comprised of employees of the City and Frederick's Department of Public Works. There is no designated snow removal team. More than 20 departments throughout the Department of Public Works make up the 100 plus snow removal team. When called upon, employees of the Department of Public Works serve 12 hour shifts. The work will continue around the clock, 24 seven, until all roads are cleared. The snow removal team typically begins snow removal once three inches of snow accumulates. However, each snow and ice event is different and presents its own challenges. The three inch guideline is flexible and crews may be called out at any time. Snow pretreatment may also begin before the first flake has fallen so that crews can get ahead of the storm. Forecasts predicting a strong likelihood of a severe winter event are heavily considered when making decisions on snow removal. Timing can be a huge factor in the decision to send out the snow removal teams, and in some cases, waiting out a winter event is also a decision to consider. 
Chemicals are used in the treatment of ice, and in some cases, these chemicals may not be effective in temperatures too low. During a snow event, you will notice that some streets are not cleared enough to see bare road. This is intentional. With multiple manholes along city streets, it can be hard on city equipment to scrape down to bare road. City plows operate slowly, clearing roads to a passable state so the equipment is not damaged and manhole covers are not destroyed. In the event of a city announced snow emergency, the main priority of the city snow removal team is the clearing of the city snow emergency routes. These routes are marked by signage and are the first to be cleared during a snow emergency. The designated snow emergency routes are cleared continually until snowfall stops so that the first responder emergency vehicles have access through specific routes during any snow or ice event. Snow plows may clear the primary snow emergency routes multiple times before they are dismissed to secondary routes. Once the snow emergency routes are cleared, the snow removal team will begin to clear secondary streets and neighborhoods with cul-de-sacs and courts soon to follow. Once all city streets have been cleared, crews are then assigned to clear interior park paths and city-owned sidewalks. City-owned sidewalks that lead to city schools receive first priority. Clearing transit bus stops is the responsibility of Frederick County. Handicapped parking spots are also not required for the city to clear, although the City of Frederick's Community Action Agency may help clear handicapped spots. In the event of large amounts of snowfall, sidewalks may be recovered. Residents and property owners are responsible for their designated sidewalks as stated in City Code Section 22-16 and will need to continue to keep the sidewalks clear. It is a fact that during a large snowfall, driveways will be plowed in. Snow plows need to clear the main streets and courts, causing snow piles, known as windrows, to form from the plows. Residents need to clear the windrows that form in driveways and away from city streets and away from sidewalks as stated in City Code Section 22-16.1. In addition, cars parked on the street will be plowed in during a large snowfall. To avoid entrapment, on-street parking should be avoided if possible during a snow event. On designated snow emergency routes, cars parked on the street may be towed. On snow emergency routes, the on-street parking spaces are used to deposit snow piles so the main street surfaces remains clear for large emergency vehicles. Residents at cul-de-sacs can help snow removal teams by moving vehicles out of the cul-de-sac. The tight turns in cul-de-sacs make it difficult for large snow plows to maneuver around vehicles parked in cul-de-sacs. As a rule in a snow event, fewer cars on the street equal better results. Watch local forecasts and stay tuned to city announcements regarding winter weather. Preparing for a snow or ice related event is a big help to the city snow removal team and a big help to neighbors. Residents and property owners should be mindful in creating parking strategies during the winter months. Residents and property owners, move your vehicle away from the streets before the snow or ice event begins. Residents, Allow neighbors without on-street parking to share your driveway or your garage. Keep all cul-de-sacs free of vehicles and tell out-of-town visitors to do the same. Business owners, let customers know if a snow emergency is in effect and direct them to nearby parking garages. Wait until snowfall and city plowing ends before clearing driveway openings and curb cuts. Help by clearing snow away from storm drains and inlets, even if the snow piles were created by city plows. Keeping the storm drains and curb cuts clear prevents flooding and allows for handicap accessibility. Remember to keep sidewalks clear within 12 hours after a snowfall ends. Lend a hand. Help neighbors who need assistance shoveling snow or who may be physically unable. Help clear fire hydrants of snow. This not only helps fire crews, but it also helps your neighbors if an emergency should occur. 
Snow and ice may not be deposited onto public streets and sidewalks. To avoid fines and liability issues, make sure you deposit snow and ice on your own property. Trash and recycling days may be postponed during a winter event. Trash will always be picked up unless an announcement is made. Residents and businesses, be sure to set the receptacle at the curb as usual, but please remove the receptacle as soon as possible after the collection. Please keep all debris away from driving surfaces. Report downed and low-hanging power lines by calling Potomac Edison at 1-800-686-0011. Do not attempt to cross over or under downed power lines. Report downed trees or other non-emergencies by calling the City of Frederick Department of Public Works at 301-600-1440. For issues concerning trees, you can also contact the City Parks and Recreation Department at 301-600-1492. Another way to help during a snow emergency event is to stay home and be safe. Staying off the road goes a long way to helping city crews and emergency vehicles during a winter weather event. Safety is the City of Frederick's number one priority. The City's snow removal team will work curb to curb from beginning to end of every winter weather event. Snow and ice will be removed to provide bare, uncovered asphalt upon which to drive. The Department of Public Works will also remove snow and ice from city-owned parking lots and parking decks, sidewalks at city facilities, sidewalks on city bridges, and other city facilities. While every winter weather event poses its own problems and challenges, we understand that not everyone will be happy with the city's snow and ice removal efforts. The city investigates every complaint received, but we ask for your patience and cooperation. Thank you for watching. Stay warm and be safe.